In this video, we'll talk about how to get uh, book reference information from WorldCat into EndNote. So let's start with logging in. We'll go to the Andrews Library, and we're going to go to List All Databases. And they'll come up over here. There we go, right here, the WorldCat. And after I click WorldCat, it's going to ask for my Andrews account. And I'm going to log in. And I'm going to log in again. Sometimes it asks for this more than once. I'm not sure what makes it do that. All right, and here I am in WorldCat. And sometimes you'll be searching for books, other times you know the book that you want. In my case, I have a specific book in mind because of one of the articles I read. I want to find the book that was mentioned in, I think it was a dissertation actually. So I want to actually search the title, Let's see if I can get this to come up, the title phrase. Okay, I tried that in a, another browser so you can see it a, bit, a little better. So I'm searching title phrase and my title is, is basically the title of the book, Constructivism and the Technology of Instruction. And now I'm going to search. And remember there's additional information on the Andrews Library page about how to search in all these different databases. All right, now this particular book is not in the Andrews Library. Some often it'll say right here where it is. It'll have a little icon. So if I want to actually read this one, I need to either buy it or get it from interlibrary loan. But at the moment, all I want to do is get it into my EndNote so that I have it in all my references. So I'm going to mark it by checking it. And then just like we did before, I'm going to click Export. And this time I want to export just this one marked record. And again, Export is getting my bibliographic information into EndNote. I'm going to click Export and it wants to know what do you want to do with this file, downloads it, brings up my EndNote. I need to pick the EndNote file that I want this to go into. I'm going to click Open. And it's importing, thinking about importing. And what database did this come out of? I'm going to choose WorldCat. Whoops, I lost it. WorldCat and click Choose and it brings it in. Now for some reason, I don't know why it does this, but this happens to me a lot with the WorldCat database. It brings in one that's empty and one that actually has the reference. So I'm going to just delete this one. Right click and delete references. Reference in this case. And alright, now it's gone. Okay, so what did we do so far? We logged in and searched. We're getting the bibliographic information into EndNote, basically exporting it. And now we want to check the APA format. And this is where sometimes things get a little crazy. All right, I have a mess with the authors. This happens a lot. So you want to check the authors. It should be the new authors are on the next line, and there's a comma after the last name. So let me see if this fixes it. I did Control S and Control W to close, save and close my changes and come back to the list. All right, and here I have, looks like most everything is correct. It's happened to me before that the city doesn't come in correctly, so you definitely want to check that. Sometimes I have to actually go back and look at the marked records to see how it's listed in uh, First Search OCLC. Um, to get the, the city. And sometimes I even Google to find this publisher and where its city is. So always check that because you don't want to have to go find it later. All right, notice also I've got this weird extra period going on and a little bit of extra space there. So let's fix those. This needs to go away. I think this is supposed to be capital A. And 
NJ is supposed to be NJ without spaces. Again, I'm going to do Control S to save. I'm going to do Control W to go back to my main list. And now I'm pretty sure my APA reference is correct. So that was log in to WorldCat, search if you know the title or maybe you're searching your books. Again, you could mark a whole bunch this way. Add the bibliographic information to EndNote by using the export button and then make sure your APA information is correct before you leave uh, WorldCat.